Good evening, everyone. As this is Neha Afreen, and today I'm going to discuss about the specimen question paper and the syllabus which has been issued by ICSC. The topic uh, subject I'm uh, dealing today is mathematics. And uh, as we all are teachers here, so we all are very well aware of this. So it's like discussion only. You all can cooperate with me if you have any good idea about anything or you have good, for example, if you have any uh, anything you want to share, you can share with me. Okay, so today as from Goel Brothers, I am starting here. Today's topic will be what are the, uh, what uh, we should know as we are dealing with the mathematics sample paper. We will be dealing with the uh, syllabus which are bifurcated and reduced. The next we will be discussing what uh, tips we can give to students. What are the things we should discuss with the students? What are the, what are the things that will be helpful for the students? These are the main things which we are going to discuss today. Okay. Now, so these are the few things that first of all, I'll be discussing about the uh, instructions which the ICSC has given, like what type of question paper will be there, what are the uh, timing, what will be the uh, type of question paper they will be asking, then what are the features, what will be the use of ICSC question, specimen um, question paper, which is issued by ICSC. Next. The first thing which I am going to uh, discuss is, for, uh, first thing is maximum marks, how much marks they are going to uh, give for second semester. We will be discussing about the second semester specifically, like first semester has already passed, second semester is going to be held uh, maybe March or maybe April, we don't know exactly about it. So what will be the timing? The timing allowed is one and a half hour. The students will be getting time one and a half hour only for writing. They will get extra time, 10 minutes for reading the question paper. Okay, this one and a half hour they'll be getting for only writing the answers. Now, the next point is the students will get a separate answer sheet and a separate question paper. So the answers must be written on the sum, uh, answer paper only. They don't have to write anything in the question paper. They have to write everything in the answer paper. Okay, next is if the time is given 10 minutes for reading time, they don't have to write anything on that reading time. Only that time is given for the reading purpose so that the student read the questions in a proper way whatever instructions are given they go through the instructions in a proper way they learn each and everything uh, they understand the question pattern they understand the topics like uh, sometimes it happens that they have to uh, attempt any two questions but be just because they have not gone through the instructions they are attempting all the three questions all the four questions how much questions are given so what we have to do is first thing we have to make sure to students that they have to take all the 10 minutes only for reading the instructions with the questions. Like if they are going through the question, sometimes they feel that the question is very easy. Okay, they start writing with that answer, but after writing half of the answer, they think that no, this is not the answer which I am getting. The question should be very clear to the student. The, that time only they have to decide that this is the question which we have to solve and which will be uh, for which answer they are knowing completely. Okay, these are the few things which will be the instructions we have to give to the students. Now, I'll go for the syllabus which has been given from the ICSC for second term. Okay. Now, these are the syllabus which has been bifurcated and reduced for second semester exam uh, the like there are so many 
units given in our book. So for first semester, I won't discuss anything because I don't think it will be useful now. Now we are preparing for the second semester exam. So I would like to discuss only about the second semester exam. First unit, which is unit two, that is algebra. In this unit, the, there are three topics. The first topic is reflection. Second is section and midpoint formula. Third is equation of a straight line. See, I know that all of you, we are knowing it very well, but still I'm just revising it. Okay, so now the next unit is unit three, that is geometry. In this unit, there are two topics. The first is angle and cyclic properties of a circle. Second one is tangent properties of a circle. Next unit is unit number four. In this unit, there is only one topic that is volume and surface area of solid. See, I'll go through the details of these topics. Just uh, this is only the topics. After that, I'll go to the details of this topic. Next unit is unit number five, that is trigonometry. In this unit, there are two subtopics. The first one is trigonometrical identities. Next one is heights and distances. Next unit is, unit is unit number six, that is statistics. In this unit, there are three subtopics. First is graphical representation of a statistical data. Next is measures of central tendency, that is mean. And the last one is median, quartiles, and mode. Now the last topic or the last unit is probability. These are the syllabus which is only for the second semester exam 2021 to 22. We don't know anything about the next session. This is only for this session only. It can be, it, is, it may be possible that next session they can change it. Okay. So this is only for this session. Now I'll go for the topics. The first topic which I have taken is unit number two, that is algebra. In this topic, there are th three to uh, subtopics which I already explained. Now, what we have to do is in this reflection of a point in a line that is x equals to zero, these are the few things which we already know. Okay. Now, what we have to do is the, the few things which we, we must say, like reflection in this topic, the very easy questions are there. Very easy questions are there. That uh, sign convention sign conversion of ordinates, abscissa, and uh, sometimes both are there. So this type of questions are there. This is a very um, uh, easy topic, I can say. So we must say to students that this is a very easy topic. You go through this topic and whatever marks will be coming from this, whatever, uh, like uh, if it is coming ob uh, objective type question, multiple type, multiple options are there. So this can be, a good option for students to achieve marks, right? At As we all know that for getting one marks also, we have to struggle a lot. So if this is a topic, this is a such type of topic, which is very easy for a student. Only sign conversion is there uh, for... So next topic is sex, section and midpoint formula. The, again, this is also a very easy topic as it is completely based on formula. Only three formula students have to learn. So this will be very useful for students if they learn the process, how to put the formula and how to get the answer. See, students are very conscious about the marks, that how to obtain good marks. So three things are there. The first thing uh, is six, uh, section formula is there, then midpoint formula is there, and the centroid of a triangle. So, three sides are there and they have to find out the center. So these are the very common things. Students are already knowing about this. We have already taught them. Now only thing is we have to put in their mind that these are the things which are going to come in the exam. This can be helpful for them for achieving their good marks. Last point is equation of a line. Now only few things are there in this, like slope intercept form is there, Two point form is there then the condition for two lines to be parallel or perpendicular these are the things which we have to teach them or which we have to remind them that these are the things which which can be coming in the exam now subscribe to bright duty course at rupees one per day only
Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices. Now I'll go for the next unit that is geometry. Now geometry is a, students are very much struggled because the figures are not properly understood by the students. We have to make sure that they understand the figures in a proper way. Like if it is a cyclic quadrilateral is given, we have to make sure that the students are uh, understanding that to which type of uh, questions can be asked out of them. Okay, then next is theorems are there, but their proofs are not there. Theorems, all theorems are important, but we have to make sure to students that they learn the theorems in a proper way, but they don't need to learn the proofs of that. Okay, proofs are not important at all because it has been excluded from the uh, syllabus for this time. Next is applications of all circle theorems. Like I told you in the beginning of this, topic only that students have to understand that if it is a cyclic quadrilateral or if it is a cyclic parallelogram, they must know about all this uh, and that how to solve all these type of questions. Like if I'll go for the tangent properties, then students know that this is a tangent. After that, they must know that if, uh, if they are very clear with the theorems, they can solve the properties in a proper way. I know they have removed the proofs, but proofs are important as it is useful for solving the problems related to tangents properties. As we all know that tangents properties are mostly related to the theorems. Like uh, you can say that uh, the angle which is made by the tangent if, uh, if the line passing through the center of the circle and it makes an uh, angle of 90 degrees. So these are the things which is very common. So we must make sure that students are aware of the theorems. Okay, next comes, next topic, next unit is unit number four, that is mensuration. In this mensuration, volume and surface area of solids are there. See, volume and surface area of solids are there in, in that, Frustum is also coming, but for this session, the ICSE has removed this frustum topic. Okay, it has been completely excluded from here. Now, what are the things students have to learn? That uh, first is area and volume of solid. Next is right circular cylinder and cone. Next, combination of solids, direct application problems. Now here, uh, I would like to say that uh, hollow, hollow cylinder is also the thickness of cylinder. Next is uh, area of cross section. These are the things the students must be aware of this. Uh, I know that uh, we have already taught all these things, but uh, we have to make sure that we are not uh, losing anything by uh, while, while we are teaching. We must make sure that we have completed all these portions. For example, if cone is there, there are very, very few things. First is slant height, next is curved surface area, next is total surface area. These are the things which can be used in either it is a question of cylinder, either it is a question of cone, or uh, it is a combined, combined uh, uh, figure is there. Then also the same things are there, only they must know to identify the things, right? Yes, problems on frustum are excluded. No problem, uh, no question will be coming regarding frustum. Okay. Ma'am, there is a query. What about sphere and hemisphere in combination one? In co 
combination one no as i already told no that only cylinder and cone is there only cylinder and cone is there no uh, spare is not included solids i already see i have written here here it is written that only cylinder and cone is coming okay no other uh, solids are there only cylinder and cone no other topics are there okay next is unit number 5 that is trigonometry in the trigonometry it is a very uh, basic concept is there not so lengthy like uh, um, we are um, how to find out the hypotenuse how to find out the uh, um, this like sin theta is there cos theta is there this these are the very basic concepts are there how to find out these uh, trigonometric ratios next is very small small formula like cos square theta plus sin square theta is equals to 1 these are the formula they have to use for trigonometric identities next is height and distances height and distances they have to learn the line of sight then next is uh, um, angle of elevation angle of depression these are the topics which will be coming from height and distance and one more thing that if there are two right angle triangle that type of topic won't be coming for height and distance it is excluded if there are two triangles at a sorry more than two triangles are there then it won't be there if it is two triangles are there then we can solve it but in case if there are more than two triangles are coming then we don't need to go through that topic we just remove that problem that is not coming for the session this 2021 2021 to 2022 next is unit number 6 that is statistics in this statistics it is a very easy topic students can earn so many marks from this topic like histogram is there in this histogram there are very common things like uh, cumulative fre uh, frequency uh, these are the very small things class mark this type of questions are coming in for mcq type question this type of question will be there to find out the class mark of the student uh, of the data class size of the data this a uh, type of question will be there so they can achieve good marks from here also for one marks question i think these are the only topic which will be giving one marks question mcq type question i'll discuss about the question pattern also now uh, the next topic is measure of central tendency that is mean in mean there are two types of mean we are finding out the first one is ungrouped mean and the second one is grouped mean now in grouped mean it has given more focus like in grouped mean direct method is there step deviation method is there and shortcut method is there so all these three methods they are focusing okay next are uh, next is calcul um, calculation of interquartile range okay we know that upper quartile is there inner uh, lower quartile is there so all these things we already know what what they have given is the only things that are going to come but student must be aware of their previous topics like if they don't know the uh, mean the, how will they find out it by three methods are there yes it is very important to find out the mean shortcut and deviation but they must know the class size then only they will be able to find out the frequency this is how means previous knowledge is very important for them next comes probability this is the easiest topic uh, i think uh, four or five marks question can be arranged from this topic like random experiments are there sample space is there events are there simple problems on single event is there so this is a easy topic for a student they can achieve good marks from these in this topic also like overall if i will say that there are very uh, so many topics are there in which students can achieve good marks so we must tell them that uh, yes you have to Yeah, yeah, students can understand. You, we can make them understand that these are the few topics in which, if you will give little bit of effort, you can achieve good marks. Now subscribe to Bright Duty course at rupees one per day only. Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes six to ten.
Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Duty and avail your courses at affordable prices. Okay, now the next is what type of questions will be there. Achha, one more thing I skip, I skip, I forgot to tell about this. Uh, is in statistics, drawing and OGIV is also there. Yes, that I forgot to tell you. It is there. It is there in the syllabus. It will be, uh, questions will be coming from there. Adjusted frequency is there, then cumulative frequency is there. All these things are there. We already taught students, so we are very well knowing it. Okay. Yes, it is there. Okay. Next comes, what will be the type of questions for second semester? For second semester, uh, there are two sections first is mcq type uh, question will be there that will be of 10 marks second section will be uh, section b in which there are two types of questions i think uh, in this question there are total five questions six questions will be given uh, out of this six questions the students have to attempt only three questions in which only two questions will be of two two type uh, two two marks and then next is Three question, uh, two questions will be of three, three marks. Okay, so two questions will be short answer type and two questions will be long answer type. And this is how short answer type questions will be of two, two marks, two questions, long answer type question will be also of three, three marks. Overall, it will be a combined question and in a combined question of 10, 10 marks each, four or five uh, options will be there. Out of all those options, they have to choose any three option. For section A, 10 questions will be there, which will be of MCQ type, and they have to attempt all the 10 questions. Okay, next comes, what are the features? Like students are getting the sample paper, as we all know that Goel Brothers is also publishing sample question paper, in that they have given some so many questions which uh, like many experienced teachers are there, so uh, from Goel Brothers also, they have given sample paper, model test paper, and from practice question papers they have given. So what is the use of it? Like it will help the students to practice. As we all know, maths is a subject in which the more you will practice, you will get the more marks or you will get more knowledge. Like if we take it, if, if we take a simple example for addition or subtraction, the student who is doing it regularly in their home and their classes, they learn it well. And if we, the same student which are taught in the class and which are not doing the practice, they are very um, less in the um, comparatively, they are somehow losing something. So the most important thing is practice. The more they will practice, the more they will come to know about their lacking, like the way the things which they are lacking in, they will be coming to know about that. They will talk about, uh, they will think about that topic. They will go through the topic and they will analyze themselves. They will uh, find out the mistakes of their own. These are the things which is used useful while they solve the question paper. If they are solving the question paper, they can see their speed limit also. If they are very slow, they have to increase their speed level. Like these things, they are uh, going to improve if they go through the specimen question paper. Okay, next comes about the concept. Uh, that's what I told, helps to address learning gaps, conceptual misalignment, 
and will boost the preparation. Same thing I have already explained that the whatever mistakes they are doing, they will be uh, uh, able to identify their mistakes. They will be able to re, uh, re, uh, read the concepts. Re, uh, go, they will be able to analyze themselves. And if they are going through the practice, they can make it more useful for them. Now, these are the few things which we can tell the students that these are the tips for students. We can say students must know the complete syllabus. They must go through the specimen question paper, which is issued by ICSC. If they are going through the specimen question paper, it will help them to analyze themselves, to, to uh, understand the pattern of the question, which will be coming for second semester. Then uh, it's my suggestion that they should maintain a separate notebook for formula and theorem so that while they are solving the question, they can just go through the formula and theorems at a time and they, it will be very helpful for them. Next is we can give them suggestion and don't skip any question as there is no negative marking. Uh, either it is MCQ or it is sub Objective. For both the sections, there is no negative marking, so the students must not skip any question. Next is uh, they can start with the easy questions as uh, sometimes it happens that uh, we start with the lengthy ones and we forget the answers of the easy ones also. So it's better for us to make them understand that if you know the easy answers, please make sure that you are writing the easy ones at first so that you achieve at least good marks. Next is don't skip the steps as we all know that we are giving the step markings also. So we must tell the students that don't skip any step whether it is to write simple formula also, if the question is asking to uh, find out the angle, which is uh, angle of elevation is only there. So we must tell the students to write down the steps. Next is time management. It is very important. Like some students are doing this, that they are giving 20 minutes for the MCQ type. And after that for section, means that uh, for section A, if they are giving 20 minutes, make sure that for section B, they have 60 minutes the, uh, so that they can give 10 minutes for their revision work also. Like they have gone through the, uh, they have completed their work. Now they must go through and check it that whether they have written all the answers in a proper way or not. These are the things which we can share with the students. And one more thing, this specimen question paper is very important. It will help the students mostly that if they are going through the sample papers, model test papers are there, like Goyal brothers have also prepared a complete book for it so we can ask students to go through that solve the model test paper as many paper, test papers they can attempt it will help them a lot so my topic is almost over now if you want to ask something please ma'am can we take few questions yeah. yes sir. yeah uh, Ma'am, how to classify the two marks, three mark question? Please explain one of the query. Okay. So this is like uh, how to classify if it is, if you will go through the Goel Brothers uh, specimen uh, model test paper book is there. If you will go through this, I think so many questions are given. Topic wise questions are there. If you'll go through that, it will be very clear to all of you that uh, two marks questions are there, three marks questions are there, MCQ type questions are there. So we can go through that. Yeah, ma'am. We are also sharing a link where the sample paper is available. They can see the sample copy on that okay. team by using that link. Okay. Ma'am, uh, is there conditions for Parallelism and perpendicularity topic in equation of straight line. See, uh, there is one question as I can see that uh, any one topic is uh, uh, enough for finding out the mean. Yes, definitely it is enough for strengths. But if in case the council is telling that uh, no, you have to find 
if it is specified in the question that uh, this question has to be solved by step deviation method, then that will be a problem for students. So we must take care of this that students are uh, knowing all the methods properly. Um, Ma'am, uh, what about See, inflation of trigonometric ratios, uh, relation between degree and minutes? It's not there. Uh, relation between degrees and minutes. Yeah. It is there. Are these topics coming? Yes, it is there in the see. Actually, there are so many subtopics in all the topics which I have given, which the ICC has given. Actually, so many subtopics are there, which some are, are there which we have already taught to students, okay, which are already taught in their previous classes or in this class also we have uh, we have already taught. But everything is not um, mentioned here, right? So these are the common things that uh, if this is related to the topic, it will be definitely coming. Like if it is mean, we can simply say that the mean is a topic in which there are three methods. Okay, if it is a mean, we must know what are the cumulative frequency is there, frequency distribution is there. These are the few things which we are knowing. So we have to teach these things. Elimination of trigonometric ratios. No, trigonometric ratios have not been eliminated. Okay, I think you are talking about uh, how to remove, can you please explain this? Uh, tell it again in C. We are not going for previous year exam papers because the council has given the reduced and bifurcated syllabus for this session only. So if you are going through the previous years, it can be, some questions can be there which are there from the topics which is not coming in this session, okay? So we cannot say that, uh, the previous year papers is completely useful. Oh, give I cannot say the uh, marks exactly because marks is not uh, mentioned for, from the ICSC. It can be of three marks as I think so. Right, thank you, ma'am. I think we have taken almost all the queries. Thank you, sir. I would like to thank all the participants present here and thank you, ma'am. Now, subscribe to Bright Duty course at Rs. 1 per day only. Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices.